Today's video is all about how to make a grocery list. Everyone is confused on making a grocery list, hope this video will help you to prepare your own. Without any delay let's get into the video. Based on frequency of grocery shopping, we divided the grocery list into two parts. The first part is the monthly grocery list and the second part is the weekly grocery list. First, we are going to prepare the monthly grocery list. This list includes only non-perishable goods, that mean only the products that can be stored for at least one month or more. Steps to make monthly grocery list Step 1. Keep a dedicated book for your kitchen planning. Not only for a grocery list, but also we can use this book for all the meal plans. List all the favorite recipes and YouTube channel etc. Step 2. List all the grocery items which you are currently using in your home. Thoroughly check what all are the things using on your home, then list only the things that you need. Don't list the things that you are not going to stock again. Step 3. Group all the grocery items under 10 following categories to make grocery listing easier. First category is dairy and eggs. Under this category you can add all the dairy items like milk, cheese, butter, ghee etc and different types of eggs. This is the dairy and egg products that are used in my kitchen. You can write down the items that you are using dairy and eggs like this in your kitchen book. The second category is grains and flour. All the grains and flour like wheat, rice, pasta, wheat flour, corn flour etc. goes under this category. These are the grains and flour items I'm using in my kitchen. You can add items to your kitchen book like this. Category 3 Beverages All the drink making things like tea powder, water, tea bags. Fresh juice concentrates etc. goes under this title. My beverages related list. Write all the things you use to make beverages like this. Fourth category is sauces and oils. Sauces like tomato, barbecue, soy, etc. and oils like coconut oil, olive oil etc. are included in this category. You can prepare sauces and oils category like this. Spices and seasoning is the fifth category. This category includes all the spices and seasoning items that you are using on your cooking goes under this category. Here is my list of spices and seasoning items. Sixth category is pulses and seeds. Pulses like lentils peas, etc. and seeds like mustard seed, fennel seed etc. goes in this category. Here is the pulses and seed list. The seventh category is dry fruits. All the dry fruits items on your kitchen goes to this category. Dry fruits list. Eighth category is baking items. Items that you are using on baking process goes under this category. Here is my list of baking items. Ninth category is cleaning and toiletry items. All the cleaning related items and toiletry items can be included in this category. The final category is miscellaneous. All the items that not included in other category goes under this title. Now moving to the second part of list making. That is weekly grocery list. All vegetables, fruits and non-vegetables are not included in the monthly grocery list. That is includes in the weekly grocery list so that we can eat fresh food. It can prepare weekly based on meal plan.
you can write the grocery list on the below format. Always leave two to three lines, so you can add products in future under the same category. Here is the monthly grocery list demo. On your kitchen book first draw 12 lines. Then write the month names and the product name like this. Keep a sticky note next to your list and go through the items in the items column. Check is this item is required in this month or not. If required give a tick mark on that month's field. If it is not required give a cross mark. For example, milk is needed for January. So give a tick mark on the January month column and butter is not needed for January as there is stock from last December so you can make a cross in the January column. Now note down the tick marked items for this month in the sticky note. You can go with this note or you can take a photo of this. Your grocery list for that particular month is ready. By this activity you can easily identify what is needed in every month and helps you to get idea of your household grocery purchase by the year end, which can help you to plan your household expenses. Here is a tip we used in our home to plan our grocery list. We always keep a sticky note on our refrigerator to quickly note down the items which got finished before the month end. Sometimes in the middle of month few items may get finished and which is required either immediately or next month. So adding to the sticky notes act as a reminder and which helps to add it into the monthly grocery list or weekly based on the priority. Now we are going to make the weekly grocery list, which is based on your meal plan or your food choices for that week. You can add vegetables fruits, meat, fish, etc. into this list. By preparing a meal plan and shopping weekly for the meals helps you to have always fresh items. Hope you can create your own grocery list now. Do let us know you face any challenges we are happy to help. Enjoy and happy shopping.